up guys this be Jason episode of the awkward pepper eating car burger I'm gonna try and eat some primos from Tony Reeves he sent nine of them but some of them are still partially green so I might try to eat the green one and a red one and try to compare flavor maybe heat see if there's a little bit of a difference and we're gonna try and explain cap cramps a little bit and maybe- I'm gonna to attempt to explain. <laughs> Kim's going to attempt to explain maybe ways to try and prevent them, ways to deal with them while you have them, <laughs> etc. <cetera. laughs> attempt. Yeah, there's not a whole lot you can do, but there are ways to minimize them and whatnot. So I guess I'm gonna try and eat this green one. It is very, very green. Is it supposed to be green? No, they're red. Okay. And here's a red one. That tail See, this one's got a nice little tail. Terrifying. So those are the two colors I got. Is that one? But I'm really curious if it's like more bitter, maybe a little sweet, less hot, compared to the the wrinkly, perfectly boy. ripe one. I mean, they're both wrinkly. Yeah, just the red one's a little, little bit more. Yeah. I'm not sure how many I can eat. These are really hot. These are one of the hottest peppers I've ever had. I will say, as of right now, the Hellhammer is definitely the hottest I've had. It got me to a six when I ate one, and then a four when I ate the second one. And I haven't been eating a lot of hot stuff again, which sucks, but I will try to be more consistent. So here we go. Go ahead, Kim. Oh, I thought you were gonna talk about like the taste and stuff. I will in between. Okay, so cap cramps are the stomach cramps that you get when you eat too much capsaicin. Um, it varies levels. <laughs> um, because like what gives me cramps doesn't give him cramps. What gives him cramps would, I, I would be gone. <laughs> um, you do build a stomach tolerance just like a mouth tolerance. Um, the best way I can describe cap cramps is childbirth honestly that's hot that's hot the first one was pretty hot like i i mean it's not like my tongue is getting close to a one but i feel the heat in my mouth like my mouth is hot right now salivating so let's try this one um cap cramps come in waves where you do get a little bit of relief in between. So as I compared to childbirth, it's, you know, like your contractions. Usually starts up around here. You'll get all tense, all your muscles constrict. Pretty much, depending on the severity of your cap cramps, you'll get some pretty uncomfortable cramping and it will slowly move down your digestive tract. You can pretty much tell where it's at. Um, mm -hmm. usually in the upper half, it's not as bad as when it gets to the lower half. I would think, or I would say, I've had more mild ones. I haven't had any, like, super severe ones, but watching him, trying to take care of him while he was cramping, it always seems to get worse at the lower digestive tract. Um, things to... <clears throat> <laughs> There's really no helping it, honestly. Um, I'm, let me say, that red one was a little bit more hot. They're about about the same flavor and bitterness. Yeah, I, I think the red one was a little bit, a little bit more hot. So. But it's also stacking, so it's kind of hard to tell. There's no, there's no huge difference. How about that? Um, things that we have found to help drinks really don't do anything I know everybody's like oh drink milk it'll help it will curdle in your stomach <laughs> so don't do a lot of dairy products um mm, it, dairy does help if you drink a little bit yes it, uh, fat fills up your stomach a little bit and kind of starts breaking down the capsaicin yeah but if you drink too much, it will eventually come back. You'll end up throwing up curdled milk. 
Um, I do not recommend a whole lot of Pepto. You can do a little bit of Pepto, but you don't want to back your stomach up because it's made for... Oh no, it, it is made for uh, constipation, isn't it? No, diarrhea. Yeah. Yeah, diarrhea. Which would... Eventually, if you take too much of that, like, two, three doses, it's not going to help you get it out. And that's what you want, is... <clears throat> it cramps all the way down your stomach to help push it out. Which then you get the the wonderful, wonderful fire poops. I'm sweating and got a tear. Oh. It's hot in here. Yes, we have the air <clears throat> facing yeah. the windshield for the phone. And it is just not hitting anywhere else. It's hot. Yeah. Um, I do recommend liquid um, acid <clears throat> reducer. It helps coat the stomach, but take that before you do the challenge. Um, bread, mashed potatoes, um, anything that can soak up all that stomach acid will help, but nothing that's going to bind you up too much. So, like, if you know that in your diet, you know, too much bread will stop you up, just do a little bit. But I, I pretty much think we've been set. Um, Kevin does bananas. Mm -hmm. Tomas does potatoes. Mm -hmm. um, add some protein in there. Do like mashed potatoes and like chicken. Um, just to give your body that energy. You're also going to need sugar because your body will deplete sugar levels while it's cramping. And... For the love of all that is holy in this world, hydrate before, <coughs> during, and after the well, cramp. Before and after. Yeah. Attempt to while you're <coughs> You're not cramping. allowed. There's challenges. But. Uh, well, I meant <coughs> during cramping. Oh. Well, if you hydrate before, normally it'll push it out so you won't cramp as bad. Yes. Any cramps, <coughs> muscle cramps, muscle spasms, anything in daily life will be worse <coughs> with dehydration. These cap cramps are way worse with dehydration because your body will pull all of the water out of your cells to try to help your stomach digest. You will dehydrate. <clears throat> it is not good. Gatorade, Pedialyte, add salt in your water, eat, put salt on your potatoes beforehand. It'll help retain that water. Um, and if in between cramps, sip water, don't chug it. Don't chug anything during cramps. Sips. Get to sips. If you struggle with that, use ice. Let the ice melt. Yes. Um, <clears throat> if you do end up taking any medications during to try to prevent it, I have heard of people using Midol because it does kind of similar to like period cramps and stuff towards <clears throat> the end and childbirth. If you take any of that stuff and it's a chew pill, or liquid. <clears throat> Chew the pill a little bit, put it under your tongue. It's the fastest way for anything to get into your system. Any liquid medications, put it in your mouth, hold your tongue up, put your tongue down, let it sit under <clears throat> the tongue. Or in the cheek pockets. Um, that's one of the big things I learned working assisted living and in the ER, was that's the fastest way to get medications. <clears throat> Helpful. Give it a shot. How you feeling now? All right. It didn't really get my throat. It's not only <clears throat> your stomach. Yeah. And if you're Jason, you have cab cramps in the bathroom at work. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, you will also get extremely hot. Yes. <clears throat> um. You sweat and get cold at the same time. Yes. <clears throat> Just like childbirth. <laughs> you will sweat <sighs> from everywhere. Um, fans are good. Ice packs are good. I've heard people doing, like, popsicles on their stomach. Um, popsicles, ice packs, anything like that. Have cold stuff on hand. We had frozen, like, margarita mix in a bag or something the one time. And just it on your stomach helps. And if you've got the cold chills, put that on your stomach. Then put a blanket over you. Comfort items. Big. I always need a fuzzy blanket if I even remotely think I'm going to have cap cramps. 
fidgets. Fidgets are good, distractions. <coughs> and just be prepared. It it can last <coughs> it can last a while. Yeah, it can be five minutes to a day. <coughs> but most of the time your body kinda gets used to it and it doesn't feel as extreme. Um, but if you are planning on doing a challenge and you think you're going to get cab cramps, don't plan anything for later that day. Don't. Just don't. <coughs> and It don't even have to be a challenge. Just Anything that <coughs> could cause the cramps. Because also, when those cramps get to the end, <coughs> you're going to need a bathroom and you're going to be in there a while and you might need ice for that, too. <laughs> like, honestly. Um... <coughs> A good way just to prep is to endure capsaicin every day. It'll the, prep the stomach, your mouth. It'll get you, <clears throat> give you mild cramps? Sometimes. Worst maybe. case. You know, don't go <clears throat> hardcore and go for straight cramps because you're not going to have a fun time. You could. You could. <clears throat> Again, I come from a place where I like to do it, you know, gradually. I'm not trying to... Injure myself. It's mostly in the chest. Yep. For me right now. That one's been your biggest issue, I think. <sighs> I got four of them. I want to see if these will ripen up a little bit better. <sighs> oh, also, if you have something that you know makes you throw up like a certain smell or food or anything like that have it on hand just in case yeah throwing up sucks it's horrible it hurts but it will help you in the long run jason hates the smell of tequila hates it i don't drink it he doesn't drink it but we have a little bottle in the freezer because if he needs it to throw up we put it up for his nose sometimes it helps sometimes it does <coughs> We've had some successes with that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Have stuff on hand. Be prepared. Set yourself up for the best best kept cramps you can have. <sighs> oh, and that, don't don't cap cramp alone. Friends don't <clears throat> let friends cramp alone. <clears throat> Show your friends this video so that they can help you. Put on the ice. Put on the cold fans or you just go downstairs and do it <clears throat> also panic is a thing <clears throat> fidgets help with panic your eyes quivering yeah you got a little twitch <clears throat> Not bad. I think I could have done a couple more, <clears throat> but I feel like I was going to throw up too. <clears throat> Didn't prep very well, as I never do when I'm at work. <clears throat> Cardinal on the tree. <clears throat> yes, do you have any questions? Put it in the comments. We'll try to answer. <clears throat> So these four of them probably got my tongue to about a three, four. My heat was definitely high. What's your chest level? <clears throat> probably a two. It's slowly starting to go down. <clears throat> <laughs> and yes, you do feel it travel. Yeah. You will <clears throat> learn how long your digestive tract really is. It's not fun. <clears throat> starting to get that <clears throat> swollen lip. <clears throat> but just now, it will go away eventually. Just gotta power through. I have no room to talk. <clears throat> nope. I power through nothing. <clears throat> <clears throat> we'll be back later with uh, Ghost of Saffron, hotter version. That should be here today. <clears throat> and I'll talk my experiences with cramps. And how I've learned from him. I mostly know Cap Cramps by taking care of him when he has Cap Cramps. <clears throat> oh, and if you live somewhere that's connected to another house, warn your neighbors. 
just just as a courtesy. All right, guys. <clears throat> Thank you, Tony, for these pots. Did way better than last year. <laughs> but all right. That is an understatement. Good day. Good day.